ask that you keep working hard. I'm very proud of what you've done so far, so please keep up the good work. Uh, there's no quiz today. There's no test today. However, there will be a quiz tomorrow, okay? So make sure you're ready for that. Um, you have nothing to turn in. Everything that I've asked you to turn in has already been turned in. You have no incompletes. Now today, we're going to take notes on three lessons. But we're only going to work on homework for two lessons, okay? Here are today's order of events. First, I want you to watch a video called Rotations, okay? <clears throat> That's lesson 7.3. And then here's the homework for lesson 7.3, okay? Then next, I want you to take notes. I want you to watch a video called Translations. That's lesson 7.4. And here's the homework. Next, I want, or last, I want you to watch this video here. That's lesson 7.5. Now, you know we're just flying through this stuff, okay? And to be honest with you, after the chapter 7 test is over, we're done with the quarter already. Now, you say, Mr. Earhart, then we're doing great. Well, let's not forget, Hope, that first of all, <clears throat> school starts around, I don't have the exact date in front of me, but around the first week of August or the maybe Maybe August 10th, three minutes around the beginning of August, okay? And secondly, I think the email your parents sent me, you're going to miss a couple weeks. I, th I forget. That's why I ask you every day to tell me when there are any upcoming days coming that you're going to miss. But I know you're going to miss a week or two during the summer. So really, I mean, we've worked for, let me look at your lesson plans. So I have everything written down. <clears throat> You've worked for one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. This is your ninth day. So basically two weeks. Okay, and we've covered a quarter in two weeks. So if we cover a quarter every two weeks, that means we have which is that's very unusual, by the way. It's not gonna happen very often. The material we're gonna cover in the second semester is gonna take more time, it's more difficult, but um <clears throat> at least I believe it will. Maybe I'm wrong, we'll see. But that's six weeks total, and that would put us into mid-July, then add on a couple weeks that you're going to miss, that puts us into August, so we're, you know, we're right on schedule, we're fine, but um, we're ready for a test in a couple days here, okay, so when we take that test, um, the chapter 7 test, that will be the end of the um, nine weeks, okay, so you will, you will have done two nine weeks, you did one nine weeks while you are at Berean, and now you've done one nine weeks during the summer, now, <clears throat> here's why there's no homework this video right here. See this video right here, right here. That's less than 7.5. There's no homework because sometimes I do this on chapters and sometimes I don't. I took the homework from less than 7.5 and I made it part of the review sheet. So when we start working on the review sheet tomorrow, that's when you'll do the homework from less than 7.5. I'll, I'll explain more about that tomorrow, okay? But no homework from less than 7.5 today. Now, let me know when your test is at Berean, and I will stop by and pick it up and grade it and go over it with you. Also, let me know of any upcoming days that you're going to be missing. It's real important that you give me those that information, okay? Um, let's talk about tomorrow's quiz now real quick. Okay, let's start with your notes. If you want to turn back your notes to lesson 7.1. Um, we took notes on this the other day, rigid motion. Um, the only thing you have to know from this um, lesson is <clears throat> what isometry or isometry or isometry is. Okay, that's going to be a fill in the blank on your quiz, okay? Now, the rest of the information I'm going to go over, please listen carefully to me. I hope you've not taken um, notes on yet, okay? So you can take notes if you want to first and then come back to this and highlight things in your notes to study. Or you can write down now what you need to highlight in your notes. It's up to you. But for example, rotations, okay? You've not taken notes on this yet, okay? That's what you're going to watch today. You're going to watch today. Look at this. You're going to watch rotations, translations, and glide reflection. These three videos right here today. So I'm going to go over those right now, what you need to know for your quiz. And so if you... um. <coughs> You don't want to watch this later if you're taking notes fine, or you can watch it now. It's up to you. Here we go. Um, on your quiz, okay, first of all, um, you're not going to be responsible to memorize this. Um, so 
This will not be on your quiz right here at Theorem 7.3. However, I am going to give you a problem where you have to rotate an object so many degrees counterclockwise or clockwise either way. Okay, so make sure you can do one of those problems. Okay, moving on to um, translations. You'll take notes on this today, okay? Now, um, I'm trying to see if there's any fill-in-the-blanks. I don't think there are any fill-in-the-blanks on this one. Um, hope. Um, I will give this as a fill-in-the-blank, okay? So make sure you know this and zero mark that in your notes. That will be a fill-in-the-blank, okay? And, and you know what? I really didn't look ahead. Hope to be honest with you. Maybe I should not be giving you a quiz, but so far you have three things on your quiz. This will be a pretty easy quiz. Um, you will need to know these two here. This will be, um, that'll be fill in the blank on your quiz. This will be fill in the blank on your quiz. Okay. Um, and I think that's probably just about it. Yeah, that's it. So pretty small quiz, but hey, that's okay. Be thankful and get a 100 on it and you'll be fine. Okay. Um, and let's move on. That's all for today, Hope. Please get to work on your videos. Make sure you study for your quiz tomorrow. Have a great day. Never hesitate to contact me if you have any questions at all.